get the first footage and then sell it and then sell it to the FBI. What the f is good? Ah, let's go. Okay, so Super Massive Games has dropped a new game to add to their epic series. This game is called The Casting of Frank Stone. Okay, it says the shadow of Frank Stone looms over Cedar Hills, a town forever altered by his violent past. As a group of young friends are about to discover, Stone's blood-soaked legacy cuts deep, leaving scars across families, generations, and their very fabric of reality itself. All right, we're gonna get into this. This might turn into a series unless it's clapped, then I'm gonna rage quit it, but just in case it is, it might take a couple parts, okay? All right, let's get started. Die alone? You can co-op this bitch. It says observer, survivor, or sacrifice. Sacrifice? What? Leave behind all hope of survival. So this shit like legendary mode? I actually, I don't want to cook that story, bro. Should we do observer or survivor? Survivor? Shmedium. Every choice made, every action taken has consequences. Some will save lives. Some will result in death. What is this jigsaw intro? I've sacrificed you everything searching for it. A world within a story which to centuries ago. Holy fuck. Of a timeless power. Infinite in knowledge. Voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him, Frank Stone, my key, my killer. I am Augustine Lieber, Augustine. and I'm about to change our worlds forever. Shall dark and mysterious. Augustine, who the fuck is Frank Stone, bro? Am I Frank Stone? Dog POV? Who's this? Yo, this shit's like a movie. Oh, it's lagging a little bit. Sorry. It's a good boy. I'll fix settings after. Mr. Egg, thank you for the sub. With Prime, bro. What's well, homie crafting? The fuck? Someone just give birth? Wait, hold up. Oh, I can change it right here. Display, there we go, bro. Damn, should I cut the resolution? That shit a little bit choppy, low-key. This is gonna look clapped, bro. This is gonna look like Until Dawn now. Wait, tell me if it looks ass. Why is it lagging, bro? This is $40, bro. Hannah Morish? I'm emailing Mitchell Mullen about this shit, bro. Why is this shit black and white? This is like World War II? The, bro, ugh, nasty as rat. Oh yeah, this dude look old. Does it look good? L specs, bro. Okay, dude. Burning Maw, Cedar Steel Mill, 1963. God damn. Those are them steel toes, baby. That's a hard worker. 1963? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you? We're playing another night watch site? game, bro? Oh, no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Mother Manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin. My dog. Graphics still look good, Dope bro. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fella could ask for. Hold up, where's my subtitles? I'm gonna be picky, bro. If this is gonna be a series, I'm gonna make it clean. Audio and language. What the fuck? I thought it was cinema. All. No do minimal. Subtitles only. It'll only be words now? Okay. Quality content for the boys. Those are the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. Uh, oh, I can just use this. You and the dog are security for the mill? How is he protecting this shit? I'm serious. I'm a cop. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm yours to dispose of. Can I have your name? Thomas Jefferson Holt. Call me Tom. Thomas Jefferson? Officer Sam Green. Tom, I want to talk to you about... I know it about. That missing boy, right? That's right. You think he could be missing here? This mill looks a big place. Biggest in all Cedar Hills. But that don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. <laughs> Can I check your records? God damn. That's pretty upfront. I'm easing into it. Sounds like a lot of ground to cover. Are you sure? Sounds like a lot of ground See to that? cover for just you. See that? The butterfly effect shit in the bottom? It's a big job, yes, sir. Decisions matter. But ain't it the magnitude of the labor that keeps a man alert and ready for action? <laughs> hey, need a little whiskey to get by. <laughs> Disapproving? <laughs> nah, that, that's, we're not going to get answers with fucking insulting him. Have you noticed anything We're trying to get answers around the mill. You know what I'm saying? Tonight? Tonight, last few nights, anything at all? Oh, nothing. 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 <laughs> Why is he getting mad? Nah. Well, heck, if you don't believe me, ask your boss. My boss? Sheriff Kusich. Kusich? Right. My boss. He saw by last night asking about the exact same thing. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. There's no way that boy could be here and Merlin and me not know about it. And what did the sheriff say? Okay, Tom. And he got back in his car and left. Huh. Is this on the time crunch? We gotta think these through, bro. Yeah, he's acting weird. Why was he getting pissed and shit? He was acting all friendly in the beginning. Did I fuck up? Get him, he's resisting. Yeah, he seems pretty drunk, bro. So nobody's actually checked. He's just going off of his own rep. He could know something. I don't think that his weak ass did anything. So what you're telling Why'd me? Why'd he go red? Nobody's actually checked the mail for any sign of the boy. Yeah. When you say nobody, does that include Merlin? No, Tom, it does not. I'm talking human investigators only. Dogs. In that sniffing case, them Sam, out. I find it hard to argue with your assessment. <sighs> Search parties, bro. Any objections if I take a look around the place? No objections from me. Of course, everything's locked for the night. It's not a problem. There's Merlin, of course. Putting that shit back up, bro. Of course. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Thank you for your help, Tom. Y'all think? Happy to oblige. El Sheriff? What? He's in the basement. Wait, what? Hold up. Lure me in. I mean, he said he didn't mind. He was still acting suspicious, though. Is this us? Oh, shit. The 424. What was that? Uh, excuse me, bitch? What was that, a bear? Big ass coyote? Man, I will beat a coyote's ass. 
Hey, I got a gun. By any means. Y'all hear the music and everything? These things like movies. Huh. Easy does it. Hey, I'll use the gun, bro. <laughs> Don't you worry. How do I whip it out? We gotta find Merlin first. Man. Who the fuck is Merlin? I still don't know who Frank Stone is. And why he's being casted away. Or whatever. Move this. Mm -hmm. Nah, it still looks good. Hello? Anyone here? To run? Police! We're still finding this, uh, Merlin dude? This missing kid? I don't want his ass it. Molten Metal Hazard. Locked. Yup. Okay, tutorial. Yeah, Mr. Green. Officer. Oh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, we haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Uh, sorry. Uh, you alright there? It uh, smells like death? Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. Ah. <laughs> uh, God damn, damn brother. Lesson in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's the smell like? Nothing good. Like death, death, like a dead body. What? What is the slurping, bro? Am I hearing shit? Yo. Murder. No! There no! We wondered where you got to. <sighs> what kind of meat is that, bro? Oh, he's feral. Bro, that- Come here, boy! Dig name it! <sighs> he don't like your ass. Sure what? Would like it if you two made Is that human? Or like <sighs> USDA beef? God damn it. <clears throat> nah, there's bones- <sighs> Nah. Bro, bro just picked it up like it was a chicken nugget. Oh, hell no. Nah. I don't need to pick that up and examine it to know that- oh, Okay, dude. No. Not tested. Looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? The dog did that? Yeah. Damn. What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? Huh? Yo. Either you or your dog got some explaining to do, bruh. Will you look at that? Oh, uh, shut your ass up, bro! Damn dog. What? Yo! He's ratting out the dog. Think bro, the shut the f- boy you're looking for? Put it in the baggie and go, bro. Put it in the baggie and go. Take a picture of- Take a picture of the plates. Know everything. Yeah, his ass is going to the cellar. Cause you don't wanna- what? If he kills someone, he can, he's gonna kill me! Shit, that's above my pay grade! Are you fucking serious? Like, realistic- I'm playing this realism, bro. This is realistic right now. Fuck. I don't know. What's the- what's the black aura? This shit important. This is an important one. Was that the kid? Oh, nah, bro. What the fuck? Okay, it went green. That was good. That was good. There's no proof it does. But what if- Do yourself a favor and park that thought. Yeah, you put it in a little bag Cause all your guesses so far tonight have been way off base. It was just in that nasty ass can? Oh, that damn dog, bro. I was bringing us some crazy shit from the f Bro. That didn't even seem like your dog, bro. He growled at him and ran away. The hell? What you don't even seem sound? tamed. Stay behind me. Who, me? I don't trust his ass behind me. What? Bro, saving the ear for later? Straight forensics, bro. Yeah, nah. He's gonna try to kill me, bro. I'm, I'm the only witness of this shit. I guarantee it. He's in a wait. 
Look, he's trying to be sly about it. Nah, bitch. So, he's gonna push me thing? or something. The great? Yeah. What is it for? <laughs> it's uh for the furnace, I think. You don't know. You okay. don't know for sure. Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Yeah, whatever, bro. Yeah, we'll see. Wait till I get your fingerprints on it, buddy. What am I gonna pry this open with? What? Move? Huh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, careful. Don't get stuck. Little toolbox. Why is some freaky-ass music playing, bro? Chill. Gotcha. Nice. The fuck is happening? <laughs> this dude is, I think, a suspect. But someone's missing? That Merlin kid is missing. But, uh, I'm pretty sure that was Merlin in that can. We gonna find out. We're gonna test the ear. We're gonna put this guy away, if it was him. Like, nobody else here, bro. Like, does anybody else even work here? Stand this back. This is lying. <coughs> oh, he's so slithered. <coughs> oh, easy, bro. <coughs> Weak ass, bro. What? How heavy is that, dude? Nah, they're hiding something. There's no way it's that heavy. All right. That looked like an underground Take layer. This. Oh hell no. my car and call the station. He looks sick, bro. He looks sick. Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? Yo. I don't know. I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Hey. I'm gonna need you to take this too. What are you doing? No, this is bait. Good bait, devs. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh, boy, I don't know. Bro, what? Bro, bro. <laughs> Sam. Does he have a badge, bro? You just gave this man forensic evidence, motherfucker. Are you serious? I did frustrated because I'm frustrated. Come on, man. We don't have time for this. Hey, I don't work for you, mister. You can't order me around. Guess I had you all wrong. Arrest his ass, bro. A two-bit cow. God damn, bro! I'm the warden of the war to end all war, so you better watch who you're calling a coward. I ain't afraid of nothing. Prove it. Old man, prove it. Oh my god, we about a fist fight? Oh, prove shit. it all right. I'll prove it all the way to the bank. Showing his true colors. Yeah, get your old ass. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm a search down here, get your fingerprints, and you're going to jail for the rest of your life, buddy. Fucking 10 years. That's all they need, bitch. Old ass. Go down. Dude, he's gonna lock us down here. Careful. He's gonna lock us. Who the fuck is Frank Stone, bro? Is Frank Stone down here? Is there like a cop agility test that people gotta pass? This dude, nah, he cheated on the test or something, bro. I was like frustrated, but not like, <laughs> I just wanted to do what the sentence said. This shit was way deeper. Space to look? Uh-uh. Silent Hill tunnels, bro. The hell is this? Furnace? This has got to be it. You're gonna get a lung disease down here, bro. Hell no. The fuck? Ah. This place turns my stomach. Yeah, it's ruining his GI. Uh, what? What? That's the ass Leatherface doll. The hillbilly. The twisted man turned monster. Oh, hell no. Am I running from this dude? That, nah. There's no way I'm a commando crawl. Goddamn small spaces. This dude has not played one horror game. From Dead by Daylight? What are they trying to sell merch? They're trying to sell action figures, little plushies. Buy the hillbilly. Thirty ninety nine. What is this? My God. Yo, is someone pissing? The hillbilly down here? Or is that like a warning? 
does he leave dolls around? W marketing? You finding all the collections? Are these Easter eggs? Should I take it? He didn't let me. Yeah, I'm hearing something. What's over here? That better be a generator. <gasps> what? <gasps> Shit. You're fine. <sighs> Baby bitch, bro. Let's go. Let's go, Sam. Rub some grass on it, bro. You don't have like a med kit like on you? I would like bring something, bro. You never know. Let's go, Sam. He better use that gun, bro. Nah, I would have my gun out. He's being way too nonchalant about this. Like commando crawling, getting dirty. Be careful with your option now. Does homie have a phone light or something? It's 1963, bro. Is there flashlights then? Climb. Bro. The combat training must have not been as good or something. <laughs> yeah. We got the swine flu down there or something. This is hellish. What is this, Ascension? Oh, fuck. A, <gasps> A baby? A crib. A, crib. A baby? <laughs> Bro said a crib. What do you mean by ramp? Like jump right there? What do you mean by ladder? I don't even see a ladder, homie. Ramp. Why'd it go red? Don't be stupid, Sam. Please. There's a baby. You have to get it on the space. He's dead. Okay, I understand now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I just had to click space really fast, like the mouse. Bro, I'm sorry, bro. What the fuck? No! What the fuck? <laughs> Yo! Yo, beat his ass, Sam! You have a gun! Oh my god, bro. Damn, he just pimp slapped his shit? What is this? To aim at the target? Hit his bitch ass. Yeah, put your dumbass cosplay outfit off. Come here. Come here, nerd. Get his ass fucking suplexing. His ass is crawling. Bro, he just hooked me. What? Was that my? Was that my fault? Just because I missed that one? Bro. Do I do that? Do I <laughs> Stab his ass with it, bro. We're getting revenge. Fate changed? Yeah, I'm about to change his fate. Stupid ass wannabe Leatherface. What is he doing? Get your ass up, Sam. Let's go, bro. You gotta have more adrenaline than that, bro. Come on. Get the gun. Yup. Dude, my finger's gonna get... Oh my god, it's gonna start cramping. By chapter four. There we go. Yup. Dumbass. Is this... Is this Melvin? No, or whoever? You shot Frank Stone. That was Frank Stone? What the fuck? Brutal! Oh 
my god! Mortal Kombat death! Holy shit! Motherfucker. God damn. Hey, good aim, Sam. At least he didn't miss, bro. He's better throw that baby in the molten lava. God damn. So we found the missing person, but whose ear is that? Are we going to get the ear back? <laughs> Sam stopped Frank Stone achievement. <laughs> Who the fuck is it? Who are we now? It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> Okay. Does she have a night terror or something? She took one of those naps. You accidentally sleep for five hours and wake up at nine. Thirsty as shit. Those are so cursed. I don't even risk naps anymore, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? That's a weird ass crib. Wait, nah, we're definitely, we're definitely dreaming, or tripping. What the fuck? <sighs> this don't look like 1963. There's a Mac laptop, laptop. This look like 2010 at least. Mm -hmm. Yo, that was a good ass nap, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, dude. Nah, you gotta wake up, bro. She's like having a crazy ass ego death or something. Sorry I'm late to the party was at church. You might need it after this game. Ha <laughs> ha. For, for real, bro. <laughs> shit. Bro, all right. Fucking Shangri-La bedroom. Who's trolling me? Oh hell no, bro. What is this? <laughs> I'm confused too, bro. What are these motion sensor lights, bro? Nah, these are the dreams I'll be having after a cheat meal. You have some nasty ass food? You have some night terrors? <laughs> You're gonna get a good ass pump tomorrow though. Someone smash at one? Oh, they're crying? Mom? What's wrong? Wait, what? Bro. Everything's all right. What the fuck? God damn! God damn, she must have been tired. Holy shit. Sleeping that deep on a plane? Was that Zins? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Who is Madison? Was that just the intro? That was the prologue. Are we gonna talk to that dude with the hair slick back? Like the therapy session? We usually do that in between chapters and like every so often. Oh no, we cruising.
Bristol Madison. We do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. Sketchy ass road, left, bro. Left There's not even room for two cars. She falling asleep? I, I just write normally, bro. I don't know what the fuck that says. Is that a hitchhiker? That's bait, bro. I'm stopping, bro. Just stop, roll the window down a little bit, and talk through talk through a little crack, bro. Don't risk it, please. I swear to God. I don't even know who Madison is. I don't know why I care. Uh, hi. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Rolled so, it all the way down? Okay. Need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so... Bro... Do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? Uh, guess not. Uh, so, this is so awkward, bro. You chose to pick up the hitchhiker. Oh my god. Why doesn't why doesn't the hitchhiker have a name, bro? Get slaughtered. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? Yeah. I mean I guess it's not all now it that says odds stranger. Because, you know, we're already pretty close and What's your name? I don't think this road goes anywhere else. What happened to your car? So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um... Where are you from? From? <laughs> like, where do you live? Yo, I'm not Paris. choosing- I'm not choosing this dialogue. I don't know what's going on. That's where I'm from, currently. What's your Before name? Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Ooh, LA Oregon. rough. Once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know. Oregon? Oregon I don't know I how Oregon been. is. I'm a big Apple girl. <laughs> born and raised. Barely it's even the hitchhiker, bro. 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. England? Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. Hey, yo, I think she likes Madison. Okay, so what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. Let I me travel see. a lot for film shoots and festivals and all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. Oh, Hollywood? Wow. I heard Is that's she big a real time? tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. <laughs> had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well, I've had to work What's her hair doing? to get where I am. <laughs> what but the fuck? I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. Yep. Linda, <laughs> Come okay. on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film Is it the wind? You'd be surprised. I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Mmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. Bro, can, can I go back to Sam? Linda is grateful you pulled over. Hey. <laughs> Yo, I gotta, I gotta change it, bro. What the fuck is her hair doing, bro? Oh my god, bro. It's at high. Fucking... Take a look. It's still glitching, bro. Linda... I don't know what your hair doing, but I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. In the house of darkness. 2024. Oh my god, it's lagging. Is this her crib? What the fuck? Has she won a Grammy? God damn.
This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? She the Duke of Manor. I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I doorbell. Yeah, no wonder she treated Madison like an Uber. <laughs> she a little desensitized. God damn. Bro, she's Maybe so weird. Home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Bro, what? Hello? Anybody home? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Do we just go in? Why are we here? Why are you asking me? So this isn't her house. You're grown up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> I was about to say. And uh, here we go. Apparently. Are you sure this is where you're supposed to go? Is this the on until dawn crib? What the fuck? Off. Beats me. Hello. Entrance hall. Let's take a look around. What the fuck? Um. Hello. Was this like We've a arrived. like a friend's giving or something? What the fuck is going on? Why is that picture pixelated? How are you gonna play chess right there? This is kind of freaking me out. It's weird, right? Yeah. Arriving what? at an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Yeah. It's a little odd. Oh god. Who invited this us? This is when some guy with a chainsaw rushes up from the basement, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. <sighs> We've been invited here for a reason. And I don't think it's so our hosts can wear our faces as leather masks. Are you sure? That's super com. Huh. Well, even I could play this. DBC DBBB. A survivor's theme. Do we get like an email invitation or really what? digging these creepy cottage core? Vibes. Are other people supposed to be here? More chess. Oh, we playing this? Do you play? No. Um, a little. That's it. <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> Crazy, right? Uh. Yeah. She just knew the code. F in the You've chat. You've seen a real secret passage before? It's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors. To allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. Can I just ignore her? <laughs> uh, hey, yo, what is... It's all... This is Red Room? Whose house is this? Jeff Bezos? This big-ass crib. There go another doll. Who is that? Hmm. Kid must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. <sighs> Some razor blades and shit. Uh uh. Dead by Daylight character. We getting caught up with the lore, I guess. So that this was another seems a character. Bit more lively. Goddamn right, I'm growing my beard, bro. Oh, here he is. Bro, rude ass, greet yeah. your guests. Ladies. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so. <laughs> yeah, um, same. I really hate this dude, bro. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. You're supposed to Maddie. hate this dude, bro. This is bait. Beautiful name. Short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah, 
Middle name Lexington? <laughs> what? Big town. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Bro, Home to the most beautiful bro, D -Docs or shit? fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Casual. Um, have you been waiting here a while? Uh, more than a minute and less than a lifetime. <laughs> Is that long? Well, it certainly felt that way until you arrived. I know door, that turtleneck so hot as shit, bro. I wandered around and made myself at home. Till I found a way to really make myself at home. Isn't it kind of weird? No, the cop There's didn't no die yet. I mean, you we were about? invited, right? I'm not letting him die. <sighs> yes, well, one could write a book on all the incomprehensible complexities of British hospitality. Many have, in fact. Oh, Stan, this is... Linda Castle. I am... Such a huge fan of your work. Oh, I'm, so she is big time. I lost her words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford III, at your beck and call. Glazing, bro. You need to call me Stan. Right. Sure. <laughs> Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. <sighs> wow, I didn't realize you were like famous, famous. Famous construct. And I'm not. Oh, no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon, <laughs> transcendent, blood on the brain, mandatory. <laughs> Forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, you are the quintessential countercultural cinematic icon of our times. God damn. I appreciate the kind words. I want to see one of her movies. I just didn't expect the them fuck? here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon. Wait, what? didn't you two come here together? Did she help make Avengers or oh, something? No, I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. Linda I want me so bad, bro. Castle's assistance. <laughs> nope. She's trying me. to act. She's trying to act Wait, big time because she's celebrity. Should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name oh. is Avenue? Uh, no, He no, likes no, 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 me? No. Hell nah. That ain't <laughs> did happening. Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss. At this is my reality. Of our hopes, Stan. Wherever they may be. I guess we should oh keep God. looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. But nothing illegal. Obviously. This shit definitely oh, got passed down. Obviously. Daddy's money. He was hitting on me, bro. Can we kill Stan? God damn. You wanna kill him? Bro, do you have food? Alright, what are we doing? We looking at his museum? Mmm, what's this? I feel like we're in a crime scene investigation in this crib. Or is he just waiting too? Huh. Movie poster in the I'm so confused. The Interesting choice. <laughs> Murder. Why are now. we here, bro? And there's a slasher poster. Hey, either of you heard of Murder Mail? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait. This is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. It should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. Like... What? Who? The government. <clears throat> when they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? So What's she's that? like Stephen King of this multiverse. And the face and all this kind of stuff. 
<laughs> Dare enter the murder mill? She was having nightmares of that shit. She's like, what the fuck is uh, going on? Is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging that theatrics. <laughs> Who the f- Ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for Wait, the Wait, this is Augustine. Arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes. And speaking of needing attention... Ah, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of an dried up when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, <laughs> would you also like a That was a rich ass laugh. Uh, <laughs> just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie, it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. Mm. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again. Offer you a drink. I don't drink. I don't trust anyone here, bro. Hell nah. Gonna slip something in it. Uh, no, that's okay. Are you sure? It's very good. Shut the f I can confirm. <laughs> don't peer pressure me, yeah, Augustine. Flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. <laughs> Get fucked up? No, dude. I know it's been I already messed up with Sam, bro. Come here today. I'm not gonna kill Madison I too. Hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? Or Sam it didn't is. die, but I don't want to mess up. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit Pause? eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way fit? just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. Mm. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. Uh, I, I. I never knew what it was from. So this is based off the. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course. She's Ms. definitely Castle. evil, bro. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. What is his spirit or his demon? You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? Yeah, Sam was the past. That was 1963. You 
there's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Do I want to save him? Oh my god, his arm's fucked up. Now who the hell is this? Is this a movie? No, no, Jane. No. My sister? Oh god. All I have to do is betray my own sister and you will let me go free. So this is Saw. To fight another day. Damn you. Do you really want to save your sister, God Jane? damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! You only have one arm. 60 seconds. How bad do you want to save her? Who the fuck is this? Hopeless? Take her. <laughs> Why was that bad? What truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths. How was he breaking the fourth wall right there? It's creepy as hell. My answer <laughs> is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Ah! What is that? What are you doing? Uh, I might have fucked up. That was his arm! No! That's like 127 hours, bro. Is this real? Was he cutting? And cut. How was that? That oh. was amazing. Really? I was like, shit. <laughs> it wasn't like too much? No way! <laughs> Cause I feel like maybe I oversold it a little. You gotta play to the cheap seats, I made. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little super eights. Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off. So somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft, jeez, Louise. <laughs> So, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? She couldn't even check it. Um, well... <laughs> Linda, you did She's straight lying. the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Ah! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting. Not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? You've got to respect the director. Mm. She don't see <laughs> The one who filmed don't seem like she gives a fuck. I don't think they're paying her enough. Of course. Chris, you're the director. But like part of the job is working with people you trust and I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both mm. versions and then we can see Do we which like way Linda? works better in the edit. And it'll be my way. Because I'm the director. Uh. Hold still. Let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. Linda is girlfriend? If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Hey, yo! Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, more you guys want me to leave? All right, all right, on your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds. Okay, uh, last take. Speed. All right, 
Everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, no. oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh. Oh. I thought they were Hi, getting jumped. Mr. Green? Sheriff. Sheriff. Right. Sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? Sam! We're just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. <laughs> Miss Gordon. Sam looked pretty, pretty good Mistress for being Steve that old. Gordon. Is that Sam the second? I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Nah, Sam's seen some shit, Ever. bro. Nah, because that was 1963 or whatever when we were Sam. It's 2024 now, bitch. Isn't it? No, that's Sam at like 45. So this is like based off the VHS camera. What would you say? Like 2003? Something like that. He still look good, though. He's 60? He, he's still he's still running, bro. Yeah, he's seen some shit, though. Do we, do we give a fuck about those last shots? Like, how important is this movie? Is it like some film festival shit? They just got a little VHS camera from eBay. Oh, man. My bad. Sir, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. Beta. Know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff says. Nah, Sam asks. don't take no bullshit anymore. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> don't forget to clean up. They gave him character development, bro. What are we supposed to do with a busted camera? I guess that's it, then. Without a working camera or a location, I guess that's it. <laughs> camera? Crybaby bitch. <laughs> what the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? What? He's definitely a guy. Oh. Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the He garage. seems like he's fucking patrolling right there. Just go shoot somewhere else. Ain't nobody watching this shit, bro. Unless these are like A24 film devs. They're like shooting side side work. Sorry, Dixie. <laughs> Hell yeah. out sir now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me I'll be watching yes, he sir. don't miss yeah get the fuck out the mill god damn right the Sam's don't man <laughs> Sam a hard ass now <laughs> Changed ever since seeing that baby crib in that burning fire. Curiosity on Main Street. Uh uh. This fears to fathom. Right next to the mill. Good Spoonie. Oh, what a complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. Y'all can't so shoot somewhere else? Oh, 
They just shot in some dusty ass building. Whenever you wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline. Gothic. I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. Oh, that's tough. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Whoa, 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 don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, oh, does it still work? Cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not... It didn't look like there was much going, around, going on. Activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? 1960. Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. <laughs> now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell, yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. Stealing babies. What was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know. If... Frank huh? Stone. Huh? So, yeah. Frank Stone was actually no, we took care of killing Frank. people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. I still didn't find out about, like, the ear and... Yo, we gotta do an interview with the sheriff. Like, did Sam find out? I know what he was up to. Who were the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Excited? What? Do you know what this means? That we need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh. People are actually going to want to see this thing. We're going to be, like, totally famous. Okay, sure. <laughs> we might get some butts in seats, but, like... What if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! Uh! And Frank hey, Stone is dead. Why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore? Who's talking about effects? reviving so, Frank Stone? We're gonna yeah, deal with this demon or is, something. I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. <laughs> What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Uh, you good? Hey, you okay? <laughs> Damn. What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. <laughs> mom got sick i dropped everything in my whole life in new york to come home and help and all he does is act like i'm not doing enough it's like he doesn't even care what i had to give up i'm sure he's just worried about mom yeah so am i that's why i'm here the least he could do is try not to ground me like i'm 16. totally what is he thinking right sorry i guess i just needed to blow off some steam i get it the last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other that's true. I was about to say, they're siblings. Yeah. And you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What, is she the manager? What, what? 
Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay, what do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do, what else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Ten bucks? Damn! What year is this? Fix a whole ass camera? That shit is toast. I'd be looking on eBay for a new one. <laughs> that shit's obliterated. I'm gonna do a nervous 20 be like, <laughs> I just need 20 bucks. Just like I'll pay 10, you back. 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? Damn. We're trying to make this thing. That's like good. a fast food and order now. Good. Don't Fix a camera? Cheap. That's gonna run you like 200. Hmm. At least. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. All right. I'm in. <sighs> Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or Why leave she it. Why's she standing all stiff like that? She's like relaxed. <laughs> all right. It's a deal. <laughs> Try not to waste it. Don't worry. We'll put it we're literally use. using it for the camera and probably some chicken sandwiches too. We're hungry. You all right there? You're looking a little uh, wiggly. That lag. I'm fine. It's just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. Oh, it broke an eczema from the blood. Any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off like right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's like actually poisonous? Oh, his ass did not shower it's after. It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could oh, go. Oh, this was like an hour after. At any time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. <laughs> what? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenants. Condemned? Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? Good bought and sold. There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Maybe new Chris. VHS? Drugstore. Maybe we find a new camera? Are they breaking in? Does that say open? Fuck yeah. it. I certainly am curious. It's not like we're gonna we're die if we go and look shop. in that shop. Eh? Yes, I get it. I'll lead the way. You chose to try the curiosity store first. So we're going anyways. To the pharmacy. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques then we hit the jackpot check out the wares that oh, ain't too cares. i mean uh, the other killer took a baby seen better days oh yeah that's They're vintage not gonna put the best ones in the window i gotta look inside uh, oh, so we're just looking too bad so much for that we can still have the drugstore before it closes and what is it you're looking for Hello. Hello. We saw oh, the store cameras. Keeper? We're trying to find a replacement for this. Well, of course you are. Please. Yeah, she definitely kills people. Come on inside. I ain't trusting anyone. She probably has a basement. Now, let me see. I think... I think I have something that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Thanks. Make ourselves at Th home? They ain't finding a new camera here? in here, dude. No. I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed Maybe capitalist like... state kind of way. <laughs> 
I mean, you got 20 bucks. Is that actually enough to fix the camera? Just go get it fixed. We can look around, but... What is this? I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. God damn, that looks like a Gears of War knife. Talk to Linda. Uh-uh, creepy-ass baby. Wait, that TV. Hold up. Who would want to watch this creep fest? What is this, just shining? Shit ain't happening. All right, you just gonna leave it on? <laughs> Liquor. All right. Cool. I ain't seeing no cameras, bro. We got saddles, old ass radios. Linda, what do you want, bro? Oh. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like so bummed out. Shadab. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. <laughs> yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. That looks like pretty similar. I mean. Bro, what? Why should be all weird? It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. All right, bro, give it back. Mm -hmm. We'll just go get it fixed then. Uh, Since how you're much bitching are you about asking it. for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but oh, I she's seem down to, to have forgotten she's trying my to downsell reading it. glasses. Why don't you take a look? She's trying to scam the old lady. <laughs> 20 bucks. Uh that's how much it takes to fix the camera already. Wouldn't you want to keep the same quality camera and just get it fixed? Fuck. Are we going to go to the camera store or wherever to get it fixed? I don't know if there's Best Buy. Doubtful? Mm. Mm, give me 15. Oh, I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Feels a little mm -hmm. high. It is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price. Yeah, that, that was a weak-ass pitch, I'll be honest, Perhaps bro. I can sweeten the deal. One of a kind. Handmade. It's what, for luck. Is that a lens? What the fuck is that? A tiny-ass plate? What the f- No, I think I'll pass, bro. What? Uh, thanks, but I think I'll pass. I'm afraid that's the best I can offer. <laughs> bro, old ass camera with. The, what even was that, bro? You know what? We'll take the camera. The price is fine. What? Oh, oh my god. Very good. So you're not gonna take that too? Oh my god, I'm about to uninstall the game, bro. Thank you very much. Thanks what even was that? Camera. You might as well it take the no damn lens or whatever all. that was. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. No, yeah. they're not. They, yep. no, That's they're us. not. Or they would have taken the lens too, or whatever that shit was. Uh, did you get the footage? Wait. Wait, guys. Did oh, they just the leave the camera? I told my mom, I pick up some milk on the way home. Oh. So they just left the camera. Did they get the footage off the camera, bro? Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter. Quarter? Nah, this like the this like the nineties. The fuck? You ain't getting shit for a quarter. Milk? Nah, that's gonna run you at least six dollars, bro. Is USD USDA organic? Dell Large Dairy? Yeah, you're gonna be shitting. Another missing kid. I hope they're found. It's eight dollars now. Hell yeah. What? Oh, oh. Hey, Chris. Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't. I bro, just get the fucking milk. Don't worry. you have a boyfriend, bro? Hey, there's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> don't like. 
two minutes, so. Why is her hair green? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm hating on this chick now, bro. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Yeah, this is on Survivor. Okay. Yeah, get your pocket quarter. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin quarter. like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old cedar steel mill. It's so bad, no dude. We could always use an extra Don't hand if you're into that kind of thing. It's not uh, horror. Super into it. But... Does it's my not dad you. know you're going into the mill? He watches that place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today. But we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. What? Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a. Um, why would you? A... Why would you We're tell his son, bro? To show movies at the library. Like, tell my dad everything. <laughs> what? He's gonna tell him. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. She's gonna forget the milk or something. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. Damn, he's apologizing? We're about to sneak in there? wanted to make sure you take me seriously. Why would you- you're gonna tell him too? We're still gonna finish our movie, whether you like it or not. Literal police. I'm gonna be provocative. Don't give up the whole- I get it. Bro. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. Yeah. You spend enough time in my line of work? You realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. Yeah, he's snitching on you, bro. For sure. Get your milk. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> Pause, bro. What? Bro, she... she's talking to a bunch, I'll be honest. I think she likes him, Loki. Let's make a movie! I've worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and Doctor. trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline, a new chance. Is that August? Wait, what? Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. <laughs> they couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Mm. So she sold us a cursed ass camera and now we're fucked. Pretty much. Twenty bucks? Well shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're just watching her? What the fu <laughs> what Linda was just staring at her? Probing? I'm gonna be compassionate because I know she liked me. What? Why was that red? Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait. Her ass needs more what sleep. What happened to Augustine again? She left. L left. She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? <clears throat> thousand. Oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before. He kind of uh, looked like Green Goblin. It's not my film. I, I didn't. I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how filmography. we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh. Why right. are we here? 
Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Curse film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. Oh. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Wait, Outrageous. what the fuck? The interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Okay, so this because is Linda so later, from... Only a few people know for sure. From back then. So this... Damn, Obviously so, uh, so it all worked out. <laughs> oh, You're shit. I was talking shit. Why do you think she wants <laughs> yeah, to Yeah, I, I didn't know that, I bro. Mean, it's not really cursed. Damn. Right? That... I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here. Someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes what happened to everyone else? Successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, director? Want to keep sitting around, or...? Bro, he was acting like he was owning the place before. <laughs> I'm good here, bro. I... I think I'm good here. Your bitch Hello. ass. Yeah, go look around, bro. Those tight ass pants. Hey, yo. We're Linda? Oh, shit. So, uh, murder mill? I'm guessing it's not a romantic comedy. Years back, there was this killer. Frank Stone used to mutilate his... <laughs> Wait, what? I I just clicked to talk. Do you Hello? really think Augustine might be up to something? Like, <laughs> Sorry. Do you think she isn't going to follow through on her uh, offers? Wait, weren't we talking about... Dubious. Speaking from experience... Don't get your hopes up. Why? Talk is cheap. Cause life is tough, bro. That's the way it is. Be excited once it happens, bro. It's all about action, Madison. Your ass is sleeping all the time. Why don't we go look around together? I just had to hold it Unless down, bro. You want to stay here by yourself? <sighs> okay. Damn, oh, Linda's I alpha, bro. Your little Maddie bear would end up in a place like this, huh? That? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Never mind. What were you shouting about? Look at this place. You should shoot when you're moving. Oh my god. Why? Because it's cool as hell. Wait, why are we here Might again? Let's well take a look around. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. <laughs> There's no name, bro. What did the invitation look like? I Was love food promised? Your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks, thanks, Madison. Oh. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. Are and you though, serious? I His pink ass pants, guy. bro? He's got a guy. I thought you were talking to me. Guy, so I got the... Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I oh. found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... That's Bonnie's daughter! How did you know that? Shit. You look just like her. Did you know my mom? Yeah. A long time ago. She slid us that 20. That's what got us started. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um, I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Daddy, that's... It's quite sad. Bro, Sorry. shut your bitch ass that's up. Right. What? I don't want to ask about Stan. What? 
Bro, Stan, shut the f- I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Yeah. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Damn, she hit on Bonnie's daughter? Rodeo. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? No, dude! <laughs> oh my god, go look around the house. He did not look enough. Me. Of course. Yeah, there's so much stuff to see, Stan. And? What does he have? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? <laughs> dude. <You're> what? <laughs> Gonna have to get back to you on that. What the fuck? <laughs> he just levitated. What? What the fuck? Yo, Stan, a freak. Where y'all going? Can I come? Those cobwebs? Where y'all going? This is like Hogwarts staircases. God damn. They definitely like work for the the government. Government. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. Nah, they just rich as hell. What's this? Why is this all dirty? Bro. More chess pieces. Is that... Is Looks that the like missing piece, bro? The key. You, sh you just gotta become a chess master. And you become mad rich. Everything just flows after that. Life just becomes mad easy. This. Mm. What Whoa. a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Yeah? Now what would you do if it was... You'd really get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Talking to someone special? What? I, um... <laughs> what do you mean? Like... Bonnie? Perhaps? I was in Berlin. You know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. But by then, it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. How did she die? It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. <clears throat> I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? That was a brutal ass dream. Uh, after, gosh. after knowing now? Well... She was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? It's not a good idea to dwell on the past. There's something I never told... Hold up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is... Something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. How close Everything are gonna get? still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night. We were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of wind, <clears throat> And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. Oh. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom.
thank you. Hey, hey guys. What happened to her, bro? They were talking about all of a sudden. Look. Oh. What? I don't see anything. Push his ass. There. Right there. Oh, nah, there's bro. Out there. Oh, what the fuck? They might be after film strips? If this plot gets any thicker? Flippant? Great. If this plot gets any thicker, it's gonna need a new pair of jeans. <laughs> Um, do you guys think we should be worried? I mean, what if they're dangerous? Maybe we should find Augustine and what? let her know. Even if you wanted to tell that her. That was creepy as hell. Her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra value Secret door. artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. The Professor X? <laughs> just a random dude running around. He's like... The hell? The Phantom of the Cedar Steel. Oh, this is a chill spot. It's taking them so long. I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Van's already all did, loaded up. Did she die when they filmed or something? I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh huh. I will. I trust Linda now, cause she clearly Hollywood. She know what she's doing. Right on time. Hey, right on time. Time to get cooking. Nothing, nothing, just trying to keep a low profile. Yeah, you do too much, around. Jamie. All right. All right. All right, me, Chris. Everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No. Tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and yes, I had some help from my uh, assistant. I aim to please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you why did Linda give him a dirty ass look? Member of the team. <laughs> Gotta wear the team Linda. jersey. Wow. This is... <laughs> she was like... This is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. Yeah, just let me wear, write. Wear the stripes. You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, uh, yeah, so... That's my dad. never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah. And Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. What? People around oh, people nah. Let me see that. Nah, he hit those three clean shots to the dome, bro. Left out of the press the first time Are around. you serious? And dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Stone's victims were real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? <laughs> I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. Another thing to look the picture. Everything I choose ends up being so sensitive. Is now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. 
You were just like super gung ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not gonna exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. Yeah, say you're right, little beta. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We've only got one shot at this. <laughs> yeah. It was either so that or we just straight up beef. Up. I know he would have said some crazy shit. No, I, I don't fucking agree with you at all. Can we and help? then they would lash out. Uh, Robert and I will go through and see if there's any other good places in the mill to shoot. Then we'll head out. Look around the garage. Look, they're definitely flirting. Yeah, pretend, pretend you're, Here, pretend pretend you're reading. So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's got to be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. Oh, that was good. Here, look at this. Mill projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it goes into the mindset of the workers. People were depressed. There were suicides. At the mill? Not at the mill, but like people who worked there or got laid off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murder Damn. started. Damn. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12-hour shift. What is this? There are a couple articles like this. No, I don't. Mill was in. I don't want to talk about it. Tom Hole. Well, of course I was there. I'm the watcherman. I'm the watch. Me and my boy Merlin. Since you were a boy, we were just minding our. Just doing our. Frank Stone was there all along now, wasn't he? And we tried to find him, but that baby. Yeah, that little crying little baby. Like I told the sheriff. That's right. That was Frank sheriff Stone's baby? And me. We're heroes. Huh? Don't you know that? Don't you know anything about that? Get out of here. Get, get out. Come on. <laughs> He's so drunk. What? Poor old Mr. Hole. My dad told me he helped him stop Frank Stone, but he was such a drunk, he couldn't get his story straight. And old Sheriff Kusick swooped in and took all the credit. Damn. Hole disappeared a few months later. Probably passed out in the riverbed and got washed out to sea. Bro, if I open one more of these, what? What's up, Linda? Why he look back like that? I don't what? Say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Oh. Mm, understandable. Yeah, he's taking your girl, bro. Her obsession with Frank Stone is intense. Linda Loki liked that shit. Clearly, she got some hits that were in the horror genre, so she probably liked that. Should I be like, he's so worried about Robert, bro? Whatever. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. Well, so you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant. It happened a long time ago, and Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. That she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? We'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. It's pretty rad. It's pretty rad. Hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks. Me too. Yeah, I trust her. She knows the shots. Oh, yes. Huh? Chris is honestly tripping. It's a picture of Frank Stone. Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Work of Frank Stone machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people. Company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Did they test the camera? How'd the camera work? Hmm. 
Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. Hmm. Man, we look like Ladies stranger things right now. I present the myth. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. <laughs> we don't have to do this. <laughs> He's yes, so nervous, bro. Do. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. Don't get the pumas right. dirty, bro. This way. We're playing as Chris. Find the entrance to the storm drain. Breathe in. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Frank Stone actually. Okay, two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard. They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. He got the merch well, on and everything. Medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in. But it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad. But it's also going to take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? Is it to make me choose? We're not gonna... Let's keep this as simple as possible and not waste any time. Okay, okay, we just have to be careful about my dad. We will. Max, we locked in with you even though it's Pop slow. Him hydrated with wine, so I'm chilling. <laughs> Your dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't Does he not like his dad? For the 10th anniversary. He's all rebellious and shit. Cool Straight helping us sneak through. It's my dad. Everybody, hide. What the fuck? You can't see that. Anyone there? Uh, getting too old for this. He won't come back this way again. Let's go. Action sequence? Uh oh. Something gonna break. No? This hasn't been like very. This place is. Awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. I feel like there was a lot more action in the other ones by now. Quick taps, action sequences. I feel like there was a lot more in the other ones. I'm sure once we get into the mill, it's about to go down. Just wait. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft with whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but... At least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yeah. What you got in there? Ah, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, carbs, yeah. First aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. This is your favorite story game you've seen? Like, better than Until Dawn and The Quarry? You're fucking lying. We must be under the mill by now. What the hell happened? Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? There was one time when I was little and he was really drunk. Even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I'm not gonna just ignore him. He didn't talk to me like a little kid or like my dad. 
got to see him the way he really is. What the fuck did he do? He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night. Yeah. Real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. He got hung up. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face. Right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. <laughs> Straight ditching my boyfriend, oh, shit. but... Damn. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? He took Every out time Frank, bro. brought it up, gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. You sound disappointed. No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship. I think this is it. Why we cut off? Up there. Okay, so, yeah. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Yeah, you said that. Maybe Sam is a bad guy? Well, he killed Frank Stone. Wasn't Frank Stone the bad guy? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. All right, bro. I don't even know what's about to be in here. <sighs> yeah, it ain't that late, bro. We actually on time. Oh, they... And w acting. Cut. How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville. Way to go, everybody! Oh my god! Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> he didn't even hug her back, bro. Oh, they making out now? A little premature with the face sucking. We s do we still have one more scene? We still have one more scene. Quit fucking around, bro, horny bastards. Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Like, do you want... They don't want it Wait, like Linda does, bro. Scene? Uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding she probably switches flesh, studios. Huh? Yeah, I think we could... Then pops that. off, you know what but I'm saying? But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's bro. gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new Linda's scene? Linda's so heated. <laughs> I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. <sighs> what the fuck is staring at us? Yo, you coming? Uh, yeah, be right there. Did you see something? No, it was nothing. <laughs> you sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? That's a fucking wind to go, bro. No, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Bro, what okay, the I'm fuck? Five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Ah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie. Disagree. Not cool. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part but was of the that crew. was that Bonnie? We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your the way. The first one? This is a close that was weird. Set. <laughs> Apparently not. I may. Uh, um, Bonnie. I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know? A and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I mean, that, uh... <clears throat> Linda? <laughs> what? Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do? I'm gonna be relaxed. We chill. Whatever. I don't care if she tags along. Okay, cool. I'll be totally invisible. Just act like I'm not even here. Actually, scratch that. Act like I am here, but like invisible, but you still know I'm here, and you're not gonna get up to any funny business, cause that's just gross, okay? Don't, don't do it. Okay, you can come. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around, or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just Can we go sure into the damn work. mill? We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. 
Whatever gets us in the mail, bro. Yeah, let's go. We're Linda. Yeah, we serious now. N move, Chris. God damn. I'm the director. Except it's much boring. There hasn't been really anything okay? popping off except for that first no, part. Yeah. With Sam. It's just, this is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. Oh my god. I always had a <laughs> picture of it, but he just started flexing right when she touched him. Eyes. He's like, I don't know. It's different. <laughs> she touched him instantly. Last spread. Hey, someone just said it was like the most epic story game they played thus far. I watched Detroit Become Human. That was a good ass game. I watched a couple different people play that one. I can't believe it's already been so long since that dropped. Same with Alien Isolation. All right, what are we looking at? The graphics look good, even though I had to turn them down. Uh, is this a shot? Talk to Chris. Chris. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. <laughs> All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speed. Look at that shit in his Hi, hand. <laughs> Chris, all set. Is that lighting good? And action. There's something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one Who else is there? Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you, too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. Oh my god, this is so good. Look, she has goosebumps. Off. Might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. What is do. this angle? <laughs> Yo, they, they were like cuddling, bro. They're supposed Holy to be brother God, and sister. Like this thing needed. How was the life? I was kind of into me. Thanks. <laughs> He's like, Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, well, but don't sweat it. We're going to replace the sound at Jaime's anyway. How'd I do? It was perfect. Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. Yeah, I'm never fucking working with these people again, Linda. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Look, she's totally hitting on him, bro. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. Look, he's giggling and shit. On. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. Hot <laughs> damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed. <laughs> uh, <I gotta laughs> what the say. fuck was that? You really didn't think I'd notice what, what you were doing? Yo, that was so awkward. What was I doing? Just playing out your own <laughs> bullshit interpretation of real... Linda was like... I don't understand. She's like waiting for the devs to go to the next scene. For the good of your sibling and your parents, definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know. But gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. But we're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. Yeah, At Bonnie. Least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? 
Oh shit. I liked it better when you were gone. Linda's like, I just want to fucking film this movie, bro. I'm gonna go get some air. Uh, I'm just gonna go get some fresh air. I feel you, Linda. You should probably go, too. What, like, go, go? I don't think I want you here right now. Yeah. <laughs> you sound sensitive, bro. I don't think I want you here right now. When we seen the monsters, I don't even know what's but I mean, that first dude was kind of close to a monster, I guess. So, I, I just wanted to tell you that was a weird. How much I loved making this movie with you. Why are you looking at the sky? Me too. I mean, with you, not with me. Also, <laughs> you know what I mean. What are you looking at? I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but we're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. Yeah, the trailers, the we height. We keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like, anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, the machine shop. Uh, hey, Chris. <laughs> she just straight, she just straight ditched that conversation. What? Holy. What can you see? Uh, something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Aim. Orbs? Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great. That's gonna be movie. such a sick B roll, bro. The little dust. That was a clean shot. Think that door will take us to the machine shop? Only one way to find out. Let's go take a look. Linda's definitely not using that shit. My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if his son. All There's so many I awkward. It's weird how obsessed with this place he is. I guess so. I mean, he always has been, long as I can remember. Well, your dad almost I didn't died, really know bro. It was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night were in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Yeah, you don't think that Honestly, that would leave you with some trauma? I don't even think he wants to be helped. Did he tell you what actually happened? Chris, I don't even want to hear you, bro. What, what, what you looking at? Are you serious? Hey, well, he hung up Sam on a hook like a Dead by Daylight character. That was some lore. Where's the dent? I feel like nobody else is helping me. Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Oh my god. Holy crap. It is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. <laughs> Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> you really oh think my we're going to find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? Does they he do even like stuff. her? Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article, it's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, 
Good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way. Come on. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel, bro. <laughs> Yo, Jane. I think you need to leave her for Linda, bro. I'm going to be honest. Linda about to hit the jackpot, bro. She about to get paid. Just do this movie and then... This should open the door, right? I don't think a lick of power is in here. Chris, what, what are you doing, bro? Oh my god, bro. Maybe there's something useful in there. Maybe a key. Oh, hell no. Indie horror game room. <laughs> that looked like Summer of 58 in there. Are you going to break it? What? Oh. Booyah. Should I throw a brick at it? Let me see what this dude doing. See what Robert has found. Looks like the power. Yeah. Broken? Looks like. Yeah. Uh, let me take a look. Hey, can I ask you something, man? Uh, sure. Wait, how serious how are you, you Chris? Asked me to work on your movie. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I'm like a huge horror guy too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not. That 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 wasn't. Um... Wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like, I don't know. Point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Was he like, not invited? Just us. Not nah, Chris wanted him there. So I'm just in the way. Man. Uh, I didn't choose anything, bro. Uh oh. Uh, Dead by Daylight generator. Oh yeah. I rem I remember watching like a vid of someone playing it when it first dropped and I remember kind of like the premise so I understand a little bit like the hooks like I remember watching him get hooked up and took by the dude and then fixing the generators and shit I'm gonna have to run it I haven't ran it at all apparently it's pretty popular some of y'all are saying like the lore and shit as we go mm, he seems pretty confrontational right now I want a few minutes alone with Chris or you're spending a lot of time with my girlfriend bro can we just fix the generator All right, look, the truth is, all night, I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris, and it hasn't been easy. To be honest, you're you've just been rizzing up my girlfriend all night, Robert. Make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. That's not what I said. It's not my fault she's more focused <laughs> on her work. Oh, my God. Me. Give me a break. What's up, party people? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Chris. Chris! Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. I saw a key Oh my god. Oh. Could be useful? Could be, yeah. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get No it. shit! Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. Bro, oh, her face just glitched. Leave. We'll handle it. Oh my god. No shit, it takes power. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that ain't James' girl no more, bro. Hey, in Dead by Daylight, you actually fix the generators. I don't know what we're doing. We're just looking around. This is going to be the worst movie ever, bro. <laughs> that first shot was... I don't know how they, uh, how there was a big-ass poster of that. I'm going to be honest, Linda. How's the generator coming? Uh, could help with the generator. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking to Chris. Yeah, you could help, Chris. Find parts? One of two. Okay. Did you find something? No. Bitch, am I blind? This might work with the generator. Mmm. Perfect. Get your glasses? It was that one tiny ass bolt in this big ass area. <laughs> While holding uh, to repair the generator, skill checks will appear. Press space when the pointer passes over the success zone. Hitting the solid part adds bonus progress. Let's just turn this shit on, bro. Oh, this is easy.
fuck. Aye, bro. Nice. Of course, Chris was watching right there, bro. Why was that one so fast, bro? Damn. How many tries did we get? I don't want to, like, actually ruin it. <laughs> we just don't have power. Job. Thanks. Nice. Yep. Chris, I'm gonna need you to move, bro. Okay, now we can go in here. Let's go. Get this key. Don't. Oh yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh yeah. Hopefully, fuck. Bitch, did you not just see me try that? Door's locked. Maybe there's another way in there. I'm gonna be a real chat. I don't know if there's gonna be a part two, bro. <laughs> this shit is... It's so anticlimactic. What the fuck happens, bro? Wait, are we climbing it? Did that say climb? Maybe push this. I don't even know how they filmed this movie. Does everybody die? And Linda just ain't telling us shit? through the roof ducts like a raccoon. Hey, that's your girl, bro. Okay. What have we here? So, snag that key. What do you unlock, little key? What's good, 2P? They better make Find out. What? Yep. It's got a label on it. F stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. <sighs> yeah, Man. probably. Let's see if the key unlocks the boxcar. Oh, is, do I have the key? Oh, make your way up to the train. <laughs> I was like, what? What are you oh, looking at? Still need to go up. Damn, they fast. My bad. We jump in? I think that was foreshadowing a, an action command. You sure you want to do this? Let me go first. Yup. I'll go first. Be the alpha, bro. Easy Got this. One, Let's go, Jane. Two, Fuck, please be space. Three. I was like, there's no way he's not making that, bro. It's that easy. Please don't fuck up. Please don't fuck up. Got you. Ooh. Bro. Ooh, thanks, man. That would not have been a pleasant way to go. I would not have wanted to break it to your dad. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. Yo. Check it. Wow. Right through the wall. Scared the fuck out of me. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Damn. Is, <laughs> is that a. Yeah. And it's. Robert's got fans. tripping. It's all fresh in the water. Oh hell no! This is insane. He put some chemicals in that. Explore the lair. What the fuck? Cedar Steel Corporation. Anything in it? Who are these other people? 
No, want to get close, feel every blow, hear their screams. This time make it last, better control. For the next small cuts, keep clean, taste the f their fear. A creature forged to purge the world. What the fuck? A hatch. Ah. It must have come loose when the freight broke through. We gonna take the hand? What is this? That's a head, bro. For sure. For sure. Oh, fuck! What is it? Oh! Damn! <laughs> I think she was one of Stone's victims. They were better. They were better. Oh my god, bro. I don't think the police ever found this place. How'd they not find it? There's a big ass hole in the wall! Because they went and just left all this stuff here. They didn't look through this? What the fuck? What kind of police, bro? I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real. He's better rat out the whole operation? Shit, we can't get the sheriff now. I'm huh? serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back yep. off, man. What is wait. wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Get the first footage right and then sell it. And then sell it to the FBI. But the movie? The movie's Be like, look what we found, bro. Robert's right. Wait, they're not supposed to be there, though, low key. We got what we need. But that's groundbreaking. Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? Yeah, we can't trust him now. He was about to snitch on the whole thing. Fuck. We should get the hell out of here. Finish looking around. What else I need to see? Am I gonna find a torso or some shit? There's already bones of a torso. We going down? All right. We gotta go. She brought the hand? What? Maybe we should wait outside until Robert comes back. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> what? You can't move. Wait. Oh, like, yeah. Let me see. Let me see what he hey, says. Hey, whoa, what the fuck? You can't move that. Yo, chill out, man. I'll put it back before the sheriff gets here. Just bro, your fingerprints. Right? Oh, my God. Chris is so uh, sure, stupid, yeah. bro. Can't She's miss an opportunity stupid, to exploit bro. Frank Stone's actual <laughs> victims for your movie. Oh my god. We're making this movie together. Doesn't Here comes like the gaslight, bro. Together at all lately. Not just the two of us. Hi, May. Every time I turn around, there you are with Robert. Can't seem to get a second alone. We're alone now. Yeah. And all I can think about is you and Robert. Uh, huh? you asked Linda to work on the movie with us. We needed help. And she's my friend. I wanted oh my you guys god. to get to know each other. Well, she's gaslighting, bro. Like being ganged up on. That's not true. <laughs> I'm not giving up on you. That's how I feel. Yeah, but it's not true. You don't get to tell me how I feel, man. Yo! Hi, mate. I understand where you're coming from. We can talk about it. Jaime's cooked, bro. Right now, we're running out of time, and I just want to focus on finishing up and getting out of here. And then, as soon as we're done, it's you and me again, all the way. You're taking picture of a, a, a literal crime scene. Hand, someone's actual hand, for your shitty ass indie movie, bro. <laughs> it just breaks up with her. What do I even, say? bro? Because if I fight more with her, then she is gonna kiss upon Robert. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I appreciate that you hear me out. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. let her die, bro. I'm gonna let her die. Don't worry. Oh, should we wait outside? You go. I'll be right there. Promise. Please don't make me jealous of a disembodied hand. <laughs> huh. Is there a reason I should be? You? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's dead. What a weird ass, bro.
literal victim's hand. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, now she's getting haunted. Good. Good, bitch. Yeah. Here comes karma. Yay me out of there, bro. I will be too. Flash banged him? <laughs> oh. You should press record. Is does that shit even work? There's your goddamn movie. What is it? What the? F Oh my god, okay. <laughs> okay, dude. What? I didn't know that he was gonna... Bro. I didn't know that he was gonna walk directly at him and not move. Oh my god. God, bro, he got sliced in half. Oh my god, bro. And she's gone, bro. She's in another dimension. God damn, bro. Anything? Nothing. Not that I can see. I'm telling you, this door's a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty... $40, bro. That's how much. You're going to kill everyone at this point. I should have just fucking... I should have left, bro. I saw Flea, and I was like, what? I'm just gonna leave, and then he's gonna chase me, and then she's gonna slip. I didn't know confronting was him. <laughs> Doing nothing, bitch. Oh my god. Loki, Chris? Have fun with Rick and Morty, bitch. See ya. Should've left her ass? I should've. That's, that's a wrap for part one. I know I said six, but that's a wrap for part one, bro. Oh my god, bro. Does it just save? I think it just saves. All right, YouTube. Thank you guys for pulling up and watching part one of the casting of Frank Stone. Let me know how you guys are liking it. I'm pretty sure this is going to be like a two part because y'all are saying there's like three hours left from this point. So this is going to be a wrap for part one. All right, until next time. Peace out, baby.